guys, it's me again. And I just wanted to share this Spec Ops outfit that I have been tinkering with a bit. I have realized searching on YouTube, just trying to make some new outfits, just to like make my boredom, hasn't really been doing it for me. Because every time I look up Special Forces outfits, there's it's always the same thing, just a generic all black outfit. And I just got so sick and tired of seeing that when realistically like the bl all black outfits aren't really common among amongst the top tier special forces nowadays not even the sas the sas have kind of retired that kit now the, nowadays it's just all multicam and, and that's really it everyone's wearing the same like, like fast cut helmets and all, with the headphone slots and and the cry the cry combat tops cry combat pants and all that stuff with like the, the with the cry plate carriers and I was like, why aren't more people like why aren't more people trying to like re replicate that? And a, a, I was inspired a bit by this uh, YouTuber called Militated when he did his uh, when he did he did the Morsock, uh video and the CTSFO outfits. Like those were awesome outfits and they look really good and they look as accurate as as we can get into GTA to the real life the real life counterparts. The only problem with the Marsock one is just there's you can't you, there's no cry combat pants in the, in the game in that color which is unfortunate but it's not his fault so he worked with what he had but and also that the that the woodland camo uh, in in this game is just not the right shade which is unfortunate as well but they look really great for what he's able to do and the CTSFO outfits were blew my mind uh, the short sleeve one looked really good and it looked I think is the bet the like the best re representation we'll ever get of um, uh, of those guys in GTA. But uh, what started as me originally just making a Navy SEAL outfit, which this is heavily based on the Na a Navy SEAL operator, I uh, just uh, decided to throw my my own hat into the ring and give you give you my own take on a Special Forces operator. And as you can see, it's mainly it's ma it's mainly in desert camouflage. Not all of it matches, but I did my best what I could work with. It's kind of like a hybrid of the na na the Navy SEALs, because the Navy SEALs sometimes wear multicam, also other times they wear that other uh, camouflage. I think it's called UDT. I don't remember, or is it UD2? I don't remember, but it's kind of like a hybrid. What like the uh, but uh, this is kind of a, more like a silhouette, I guess. Just a my my take on a special forces outfit. You can make slight changes, like change the sleeves, change the shirt you're wearing, or you can even add a hoodie if you wanted to. But I don't know about that. But you, like you could wear the long sleeve variant of of this shirt I'm wearing. I will uh, I will I will list everything I used uh, in this in the editing process, but. Yeah, like this is kind of just a blueprint, I guess, you can use for special forces. Because in reality, special forces don't wear all black nowadays. It's very rare. I, I don't doubt that some still do, but it's very rare. Like the only the only special forces that I think still wear the all black kit is probably the Serbian, uh, Kaj, I think. But even then, I don't think they're a military unit. I think they're more of a police unit. But I'm not quite sure on that. But yeah, this is my take on on a special a spec ops outfit in GTA, and I really hope you enjoy my uh, enjoy my take, and I hope it's uh, it's a nice change of pace from all the uh, all the uh, all the uh, all black spec ops outfits we're seeing, and I hope uh, this will inspire you to make your own spec ops outfits. So, and honestly, if, if people, if you're able to, if you if you're able to, maybe take a take a look at Google. And make some try, try to make some uh, accurate milsim outfits, because you might be more creative than I can. Because honestly, I'm kind of limiting myself because I haven't, I can't, I don't do the transfer outfit glitch, but I'm planning to do it eventually. But honestly, uh, people, just like just a quick Google and you, Google search, and you'll be you'd be surprised what what would what would inspire you to to make in this game. Like I said, I just took a look at the Navy Seal, and I didn't even think about the camouflage. I just thought about what they were wearing. And uh, I just put this together, and yeah, I I think I've done pretty good. It's it it kind of does look like a Navy Seal, except for the camouflage. But but 
I think I've done a pretty good job trying to make a somewhat accurate representation to to to, spe to what special forces wear. But I, I know I'm repeating myself. But yeah, I really hope this inspires you and it kind of brings some life into the GTA 5 military community. And like I said, just let's 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 stop with the all generic outfits and let's try to be a, a bit more creative. You know, honestly, just. I'm really happy with how this outfit turned out. I just wish Rockstar would give us more options. And I wish we could be wearing plate carriers without having to do the transfer glitch. Like, why do we need to do the transfer glitch just to get a plate carrier with specific pouches on certain outfits? Like, that's so stupid. And why wouldn't you just give us a CEO, a CEO vest already? But... <sighs> that's enough rambling. I apologize. But I really hope that you guys will enjoy my take on a special forces uh so what i used for this outfit was actually a uh where is it uh, where, are the, where are the service shirts okay so what i you what i you what i used for it or was it in tux yeah it was in tux service shirts i used a beige short open service shirt and you could honestly even use the long sleeve one which i do not have unlocked but you could even use this one because because not all Navy SEALs roll, or Special Ops, all, they don't always roll up their sleeves. Sometimes they just have it long. But the reason why I chose um, the, the, the short sleeve ones is because, so I got have the watch. The watch just adds that little Spec Ops detail. And and what I what I use for my pants is the, uh, I use the Desert Camo Knee Pad Cargos because they have a resemblance to, to, uh, to Cry Combat Pants. And that's what usually most special forces use are cry combat pants, and I wanted to uh, replicate that. And for the vest, I I used uh, I used one of the uh, the body armor vests. I used super heavy armor, and I'm using the uh, the peach uh, the the tan combat shoot bag. And for gloves, I am using the Peach Digital Armored, but you could honestly use even the black ones as well. Because I've seen SEALs wear black ones as well, or even brown ones. But, yeah, you honestly, you, this, 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 this is like a template. It's very customizable. You could put on a mask if you wanted to as well, or goggles, or whatever you want. Or you could even change, or you could even change the, which version of the combat element. You could, you could wear the one with the two nods. The dual nods, or the quad, the quad nods, or you could even wear the ones that have no nods. You could wear these ones as well. This outfit is very customizable because, like, not not all the time do seals wear spec uh, night visions because sometimes it's kind of clunky. But they will, but they do wear it, but not always though. And for the boots, if I can find the boots, I used the uh, khaki tactical boots. You could honestly use a couple of other variants here. I don't know why they're, I don't know why the pants are disappearing on me. Strange, but hey, what are you gonna do? But yeah, this is what I used for this. And the pouches, you could, I, I used the, uh, I used the glitch where you have to, uh, where you don't have to use a transfer outfit glitch, which is thankful. So you will keep all your outfits, but you could easily search it up on YouTube. But the pouches I use was the coordinator. You could you could possibly even use the analyst if you want to because they're the same color pouches, but I just preferred I, I just preferred this one. Uh, but yeah, this is my this is my uh, this this is my template for a Navy SEAL slash Spec Ops op operative operator. So I hope it's a nice break from the all generic black Spec Ops operators, and I hope this inspires you to do some uh, do a little bit of research. Or, and get creative. Uh, I really hope this this does this does inspire people in GTA 5 that we don't have to be keep making the same all black spec ops outfits. We can we can try to replicate real special forces outfits. For example, Militated has done a uh, Marsock outfit, which I think looks great for what we're able to we're able to use in GTA 5. Since it's not using mods, it's just using the transfer outfit glitch, which is the only bad thing about it. Since I, I hate doing I hate doing the transfer outfit glitch. Since it's gonna delete all your outfits, and I haven't really been able to attempt it, since I don't have anyone else to, to assist me with it. But honest to God, the stuff that th that man does is amazing. 
the CTSFO outfits he did as well are great as well, uh, and they're probably they're they're pr they're eerily close to the real CTSFO. So, yeah, I hope people will try to try try to try to do. I guess I I guess uh, be more creative with their uh, special operative outfits, honestly. And yeah, I uh, hope this this video helped, and I really hope you enjoy this outfit. And uh, you all take care and have a beautiful day. Peace.